my group is interested in trying to understand how different kinds of biological nanomachines, for lack of a better word, uh, work. DNA, uh, which is the archival material of our cells, uh, basically encodes the instructions for making classes of molecules known as proteins. Right? Most of us think about protein as the stuff we eat in our diet. Well, proteins are also the, the kind of workhorses of their cells. But certain types of proteins literally operate as a kind of machine. Uh, and so what I mean by a machine is something that actually has different kinds of moving parts to it. And it's usually something that works in some kind of articulated uh, motion to accomplish a particular mechanical or quasi-mechanical task. We try to figure out what these nanomachines look like, atom by atom, figure out where all the atoms are, and then from that information try and deduce how they work. The biomedical relevance of what we do uh, is that many of the systems we work on are either targets of known antibiotics or chemotherapeutics or have been implicated in human disease. We discovered that there's a, a group of proteins which are uh, implicated in a primordial dwarfism disorder known as myeloid gorlin syndrome. And you know, if we didn't have an idea what the complex looked like and be able to monitor how those pieces all fit together, we wouldn't have been able to figure out why those mutations lead to those effects. We'd like to understand how some of these small molecule drugs, uh, both from the anti-cancer and the antibiotic angle, work. And we would like to tie our work uh, in a, together with more translational kinds of approaches to see if we could find new or better molecules that would do similar, have similar effects, but have, maybe have improved therapeutic potential.